Free Science Lessons Active Transport Root has taken minerals and water. The cells on plant roots grow into hairs which stick out into the soil. Each branch of a root will be covered in millions of these microscopic hairs. This gives the plant a large surface area for absorbing water and mineral ions from the soil. Plants need these mineral ions for healthy growth. The concentration of minerals is usually higher in the root hair cells than in the soil around them. So the root hair cells can't use diffusion to take up minerals from the soil. Root hairs take in minerals using active transport. Minerals should move out of the root hairs if they follow the rules of diffusion. However, the cells must use another method to draw minerals in. That method is called active transport. Active transport allows the plant to absorb minerals from a very dilute solution against a concentration gradient. This is essential for its growth, but active transport needs energy from respiration to make it work. We need active transport to stop us starving. Active transport is used in the gut where there is a lower concentration of nutrients in the gut, but a higher concentration of nutrients in the blood. When there is a higher concentration of glucose and amino acids in the gut, they diffuse naturally into the blood. But, sometimes there is a lower concentration of nutrients in the gut than there is in the blood. This means that the concentration gradient is the wrong way. The same process used in plant roots is used here, active transport. Active transport allows nutrients to be taken into the blood, despite the fact that the concentration gradient is the wrong way. This means that glucose can be taken into the bloodstream when its concentration in the blood is already higher than in the gut. It can then be transported to cells, where it's used for respiration. If you haven't already, Please subscribe, like and share.